July 10th, and Pastor is saying to us, Prosperity by Grace. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Prosperity has nothing to do with how hard you fast and pray. It's the Lord's doing. God is the one who prospers you. He delights in your prosperity. Psalm chapter 35, verse 27. You don't have to wonder whether or not God wants you to prosper. He doesn't want you to put your trust in step-by-step -step human calculations because that won't work. They may seem to work for some time, but they won't last. True and lasting prosperity comes by grace. A story is told in Mark chapter 10 of a rich young ruler's attitude to wealth. He wanted to know what he must do to inherit eternal life. Jesus told him to obey all the commandments, but he said, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. The Bible says Jesus looked at him with love and said to him, Go and sell all that you have and give it to the poor and come and follow me. Mark chapter 10 verse 21. At that, the rich young ruler went away sad. He was tied to his possessions. For the Bible says he had great possessions. Or as someone rightly put it, his great possessions had him. Jesus then looked around about and said to his disciples, Or hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God. Mark chapter 10 verse 23. Jesus was letting them understand that salvation wasn't going to be by their money or great possessions, but by the Spirit of God. Jesus wanted the rich young man to put his trust not in his wealth, but in God, the giver of wealth. Your prosperity isn't dependent on any man, your business, the systems and governments of this world, or the economy, but on God, is by his grace. Now you can understand why he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. The power that God gives his children to get wealth is spiritual power, not political power or economic power. It's a power he gives every Christian to propagate God's righteous course. Praise God. Please say this confession with me. My purpose in life is to establish God's righteousness in the earth and in the hearts of men around the world. And I'm blessed with all I require to carry this out. Therefore, I'm committed to advancing God's agenda, favoring His righteous course with my time and resources for His glory. Amen. For further study, please read 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 12, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 of the Amplified Classic, and Psalm chapter 35, verse 27 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 20, verses 17 to 38, and Job chapters 22 to 24. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 8, verses 1 to 10, and Joshua chapter 6. Rhapsody of reality.